Hi, welcome to my scanner videos, BCT15 and ProScan software. And what we're trying to understand is systems, groups, and channels. So on this kind of scanner, that's how it's done. If you look here at the very top, my system that I'm looking at right now is called Bristol, and you can change the names. And we've assigned a quick key of number two, and this will make sense soon. Underneath that, within the same system, we quick the, say, Winford, group you've got a group name which you can change and we've given a, a, an assigned key of two and if we go into Winford we've got the frequency so once you create a group and you right click on that group you can actually add channels okay it does also give you the option to add group systems but we can add channels within that group so if we look here GB3ZB is in that group and if we right click do it right click add channel it opens up a new window and we could go gb3 wr and then we can add that in if we want the receiver is 145.600 so you're creating channels within groups okay nice and easy so let's look at another group scrolling down we've got my quick save it group which you'll find that if you save any favorites here when you're searching it automatically puts it into quick saves but it's in but quick save is a system we can rename that system up here on the right if we want to and we have given it a quick key there you go quick key of three and i recommend that if you ever do this that when you're selecting on the group click here turn on assigned which is five now if we go one under there is a group there called quick save group so remember the system and then within the system is the group and you can have more than one group but within each group you can have channels so this is the group here and we can give it a quick key which is five and to make sure that's in use because it does need to be turned on go back up to system and just make sure that you've turned on the assigned one which is five otherwise it won't search okay let's go to another one I've created this new one called my channels I haven't put much in it I've then gone if you right click add you can you can look at the group frequencies and I've only put let's have a look now one in there I think no it's added a group so I forget I said that I've added hubnet so system group and you can add by going right click add you can add a new system if you want start from scratch conventional system click OK it's adding a whole new system now I can give that a name I'll call it Andreas New System. That's a bit of a long name, but there you are. It's created it. And I can right click, add, we can go group. Okay, add the group. Let's go. We can give that group a quick key. Let's give it number seven. And then we can double click the group. We'll add, click add channel. And I could add a channel within that system. So we've got system, group, and you can add more than one group. If I go add, I'm pretty sure you can add. We have to go to the system tab, add group. There, we've added two groups in that. So I could add another channel in, in that group frequency. So let's say I could rename that group, and I could call it two meter repeaters. 2 meter repeaters. Get the idea? I've named that and then let's click the other one. I could call this one, delete that, 70 centimeter repeaters. We've added that. Now we can give these groups quick keys. So we'll give that one a, a 2 and go back to the 2 meter one. It's got a quick key already. Just make sure it's assigned. So turn on assigned, otherwise it won't find them when you're searching. And then within those groups, within the groups, you can add more channels. Just right click, add. So you get the idea, you're creating a system, groups, within the groups, which you can name, you add channels, and then you may as well add quick keys. So when it's, if we go back to search on the scanner, click search, we can control it fully using the software. It's searching, you can see all these numbers that are going through and it's just, the search just scans through and you can press hold if you want. 
when you press hold, you can have a look at what you're, you know, what you've held on, or you can just resume, and it'll keep scanning. Now, if we press the big silver button, we can look at the group numbers. Let's see if I can do it. We might have to hold it first. Hold. The hold, uh, the the name hold appears on the screen. Oh, sorry, the the word hold. Then press the big silver. Let's see if I can do it on this actual radio. It's not letting me do it with software. You can see that the group number has been as, has been assigned to system number three. So we can, because of that, we can turn it on and off. But we can also type it in and select it. So we go back to scan. Actually, I've just done favorites there where you can save something to favorites. So whatever you're saving, you can save to favorites manually. So back to resume. Need to just come out of that scan area. Back to scan. I pressed the word scan. Okay, we'll search. It's now searching. Now, if we press one, two, three, four, five, we've turned all the scanning systems off. If we press one of them on, let's say we'll press number five on, it will start scanning. If we press hold, we can look at, you know, we can hold on that frequency and then we can resume. It's just scanning number five. We can turn off five and scan number one, number one system. Number one system, well, you do give them different numbers in different orders. So, what else can we do? If we go group, we go to hold, no, press down. Say within that group, we don't want to view what is given the group name number four. We can push the large button and we can deselect it. I press number four, you're deselecting the group, and then push it again to enable it again. I'm not sure if you can do that. So I'm learning this. It's taken me quite a while. It's quite complicated. Go to search. But I am enjoying it. You can use the software to do this. We pressed, I'm doing the software. Two, three. Looks like we've got one eye on five. We can click hold. Not sure why it's not allowing me to use the software to show the group numbers. See these buttons here, but you've got police, department, department of trade. You can deselect them if you're in the UK, but in America, they're brilliant because they bring in whole systems in America and Canada. So I hope that sheds some light on the systems, groups and channels. And I, my recommendation, if you're new to this, especially if you're in the UK, is you can get these scanners at a very good price in the UK. Keep keep practicing and practicing, and eventually it, you know, it'll dawn on you how this this works. And this is just a small snapshot of of scanners. Scanners, you know, they have massive massive features and functions. You got close call, which we're not we're not even showing you yet, but close call. I'm pretty sure you turn that on with is it function then squelch. Just try it. Yeah, close call. Do not disturb. That's now on. So if we get a a signal come through that is strong do not disturb means it will come through when when there's a gap if you choose priority F priority then a strong signal will come through regardless of what you're listening to so that's another feature yes there is GPS on this but you do need a module that you connect to this unit and you've also got search facilities where you've got pre pre channels programmed into the unit we go menu, go to menu, go down to search for, select, and then go service search. And look, you can choose all these. And if we go ham, and it starts to search the preset ham radio frequencies. But of course, you know, if you've got other interests, marine, aviation, then it will do that. I think they're worth it. I think they're great fun. Um, it really opened up your eyes to your possibilities of what you can do with a, a basic scanner and these don't cost a lot of money. Thanks for watching my channel, 7-3, all the best. Please remember to like and subscribe if this is helping.